here are from Jean Prouvé and he is also well known for his doors as you can see like the circular um, cutouts here so these are more like sliding doors you know like gates and stuff In the designs, for example, like Jean Prouvé, his, his chairs are like this. You see Corbusier is kind of like more of like this type of shape. Everyone has their own little flair. Et la boutique a un peu plus de bruit. Ouais, 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 je vois ça. The thing that's amazing about their pieces is the they sell pieces that are almost in perfect condition, like just originally French African. Yeah. So he's like, hey, you gotta speak French. Oh, the whole family. That's all amazing. French. Thank you, thank you. It sounds perfect because my my French is horrible. So. <laughs> hey guys, we are back and possibly one of my favorite shops in Paris. So you guys probably saw the old vlog where I pick up the French workwear jacket. Dude, I thought this beautiful. It's a uh, military. It's uh, from uh, Firefighters. Old cool gentleman here from Florida, so we have family here. We're gonna check out a bunch of other shops around, but for now, double tap here. Yeah. I'm still young, so I don't know a lot of things. Right, I'm saying I just see what I like on the internet. Yeah, you sure. But you, I feel like you know certain things that I because you've been collecting how many. Well, I've been shopping vintage all over the world for probably ten years, okay. pretty seriously. Right. More, more seriously in the last five years. But I mean, I've got pieces from Tunisia. I've got pieces. Uh, like just some crazy stories too. So my wife says I should tell the stories and show the pieces. And just, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much work and I'm, I'm gone all the time. It's kind of hard. I feel like same for me, like just find little pockets of time where you can yeah. kind of like, you know, I feel like even a video would be cool just like showing like a piece and then talking about it. Yeah. Briefly, yeah. Just like, yeah, this in Tunisia. Yeah, uh, the story behind it. Well, I I would like it. <laughs> well, it's 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 cool to meet somebody else that's kind of in the community because it's not that big of a community of people who love. Not really. You know, but um, I, I just love the hunt. Like, because when you find something amazing, like he coolest guy, you got to get him on your channel. But like, I I was in there. I was here in Paris about six months ago, and I went into his shop. And I usually don't find anything in a shop. A lot of stuff's too small. And all of a sudden, I came across, like for me, me an incredible Grail piece, which was a, a French army, probably 1970s parachute trooper jacket with like triple dome pockets across the chest. Triple, it, it's it's an amazing piece. I'll show you a picture of it. But but it's. You know, it was just like such a buzz to find it, you know, and I'm just like, oh my god, yeah. and I put it on, it's like, oh my god, it's yeah. not too small, and so it's, that's the fun. You know, when I came here last time, because I was looking for um, a moleskin jacket. Yes, I had a bunch of moleskin. You know, obviously, like, a lot of them in the United States are, you know, very expensive, and I was like, the black versus the blue, the price difference is... Yeah, astronomical. The blacks are crazy. So I was like, hold yeah. on, let me buy the blue one and dye it black. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. So, awesome. Please start the YouTube channel. <laughs> I, would, I would honestly love it. My wife um, is half Japanese. Her father yeah. is from Kagoshima. Nice. So, we've been to Tokyo and some of the other cities, and I, I love it. Yeah, they have love honestly the, the greatest vintage. Like, and the way that they keep everything so meticulously yeah. is fascinating. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
racks, everything hanging is all from good quality. Yeah. Here so many times, guys. I get lost. So I'm just trying to think of. I want a very clean. Like, I want whatever. like like okay like. I want something that's like I said in, in good shape. Wow. I'm gonna look through your stack. This is amazing. Alright, buddy. Wow. And then I nailed that paratroop jacket and it was like it was like Christmas morning. Oh man, it was insane. If you are Christmas morning. See this this is sort of like that Algerian piece I was showing you. In that other rap. I, love, I love seeing stuff with Patina, just the character. Mm. And the thing is, you don't know who was it for prior to it being on here. Yeah. So, just the story of that. Yeah. So, check this out. So, this is the shirt version of that jacket I was showing you. Uh -huh. This is where I said the, the little yeah. pelt. You see how it's a shirt? So, it doesn't yeah. have the bottom part. I love this stuff. So, I almost bought this from Gregoire, um, but then. I realized that the, the right a Paulette was torn off, which he's like, oh, that's the coolest thing. And I'm like, nah, because mm. I have a little bit of, um, what do you call it? You know, like, I need things to line up, you know? Like, right. if something's asymmetrical, it kind of throws yeah, it. Just, yeah. I'm just kind of my nature. That's just how you are. So this yeah. flipped me out. But anyway, so the piece I ordered that just is on the way to my Airbnb is this exact piece, but it's perfect condition. Yeah, but... Hello. It's made out of herringbone oh, twill. So these are not herringbone twill, but the one I'm getting is. And it also is perfect size, which is actually, this one fit me well, it was about right. It's a nice deep armhole, so it was perfect. But yeah, so this was this is French, Algerian war, which would have been, I think the Algerian war was like late 40s, early 50s. Right. So you can pick up a fair amount of stuff in France that's from back from that period. Yeah. I feel like you had to Bro, that is a sick over shirt on you. <laughs> I mean, we made my trip. Well, we can be in touch, um, yes. you know, back on stay if, if you ever come to New York, please. Come visit? Please let me know. Because there's a lot of stores, there's like.